To the youth of the BVI, I want to encourage you to come out and register for the program. Take advantage of the workshops available and show employers that you're serious about learning new skills and employment. My name is Rochelle Lawrence and I'm the Youth Employment Services Coordinator under the Ministry of Education. First of all, the Youth Employment Service Program is the brainchild of Honorable Myron Walwyn. It came about shortly after the election when he noticed a massive impact of young persons that were unemployed. The core objective of the Youth Employment Service Program is to create a holistic individual, not just finding you a job, but preparing you for a job within the long term, and also understanding the importance of maintaining a job, what is expected of you on the job, adapting to the company's um, corporate responsibility, their corporate environment, and how they go along day to day. Besides employment, there are a number of opportunities within the Youth Employment Services Program. Under our workshops, we do a thorough development where we do workshops on personality testing. That doesn't get you a job, but it helps you to better understand who you are, what you're capable of doing, and whether you are front of the office or back an individual. And once you've learned that, I realize that that allows you to better understand what positions you qualified for. Secondly, we go through um, more workshops such as ethics building, understanding company policies, abiding by company policies, and the importance of knowing that when you work for a company and you wear that uniform, you are a symbol of that establishment. All of these not just help you find a job, but helps you understand what is expected from you. More skills that are used in society is some things that we have done like the social media awareness, marketing yourself. You don't just market yourself on the job, you market yourself on the road, you market yourself in public, on your Facebook page, on your Instagram page. Again, those are things that develop a holistic individual. Thus far, we have had a 52% employment rate with 111 persons employed and 106 unemployed at the moment. This is as of June 1st, 2018. I have quite a number of success stories, but the one that I could think about immediately is assisting a young man that was recently incarcerated. He was employed within about three months of being released from prison and was very different to me. Living in a small society, it was teaching him and myself and understanding the importance of helping him normalize back into society, understanding what jobs he would qualify for and which ones he wouldn't. This year, we're putting a twist on it. I realized a few deficiencies over the past few years, and this year we're adding an expo to it, and we're also relaunching our apprenticeship program and our mentorship program. I'm very passionate about the mentorship program because, as we're all aware, mentors are lifelong friends. They're individuals that create a better individual. And for me, what I realized after mentoring, it's, it's not just a one-way street, it's actually a two-way street. And I find that if we have more mentors involved in our young people, it would better guide them into the decisions that they make, into the careers that they choose, and the paths in life that they wish to accomplish. Um, this year, we're also going to, we're trying to, I should say, be more involved in the day-to-day of individuals, such as making sure they have a social security number, they have an NHI number, their contributions are up to date and they understand the importance of these contributions for the long term. Opening a bank account, believe it or not, quite a number of young people don't have bank accounts. They don't believe in saving money. They don't understand the long term benefits of just saving a little day by day. And we're also getting trade department involved for the entrepreneurs because the reality is not everyone wants to be employed by someone. They want to be the employer too. And again, I think they need to understand the importance and the ropes around entrepreneurship. It's not impossible, but there are certain criteria that you must understand in order to fulfill being an entrepreneur, such as the trade license process, the documents that you're going to have to present, the importance of a business plan, a contingency plan, and your finances. And these are the things that we're trying to do to make sure that we don't cater to just one individual or a few, but we create an avenue where everyone can be involved. I would definitely recommend the Youth Employment Services Program to other youth because it's free, first of all, so you don't have to pay in order to get all of this knowledge and experience and whatnot. So 
if you're young and you're looking for a job and you're like uncertain about the job seeking process or you don't feel confident enough or you've not been having success in finding a job, then I definitely think that people should take advantage of this opportunity. See you at the job fair at June 20th at the HLSCC grounds from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Say yes to your future. For more information, contact us at 499-9944 or email us at rochelle at youthvi.com. That's R-O-C-H-E-L-L-E -L -L -E at youthvi.com.